What's up guys? In this video, I'll be going over how you can make $500 a day buying stuff off eBay to then resell back on Amazon FBA. So if you don't know me already, my name is Carter Maxwell. I'm a 17 year old entrepreneur and I go by the nickname of the high school hustler. And if you're trying to create an online business and make money while you sleep, then this is the channel for you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So I thought this would be kind of a great business model for you guys to potentially check out. And it's actually the business model of purchasing items off of eBay at a lower price to then resell them back on Amazon FBA. And it's a really efficient business model because you can actually do this from your house. You don't have to leave anywhere, check in. You can just do all the research and purchasing from your computer. And then also you don't have to hold any major physical inventory. I mean, obviously when order in, you have to send it back up to Amazon FBA, but you're not gonna have a hundred products sitting in your garage waiting for each one individually sell to then you have to ship individual ones. You don't have to do that. And I actually learned this business model from Zach Roses. You can check the link in the description of this video. I'll have it direct you straight to his Instagram. He's another entrepreneur and he basically just majors and he kills it. He does three to $4,000 in sales a day just doing this. And he does this all from his apartment at the moment. And he's doing some crazy numbers and he's actually putting this content out to help others make money as well. So I'm shouting him out for that. You can actually check the link in the description and go straight to his Instagram. And basically within this business model, he's just going on eBay, finding different items from printers to ink, just anything you can find at a low price to then sell back on Amazon FBA and make a profit. And Amazon does all the fulfillment for him. So it's a great way to build a efficient and convenient business. So let's actually go into some live examples. So let's go into a few live examples of exactly how you can do it and how Zach recommends. So basically you want to search something where there's going to be abundance of an item and he always goes for printer. So I'm going to go ahead and search a quick example. So for instance, let's just do HP printer. Okay. So you go ahead and search that you're not going to want to try to search already. You kind of want to um, niche down within the different um, categories and options that you have on the side. So when it comes to printers and what he always preaches is you want new, you don't want, you don't want to sell you stuff. God, there's so, there's so many returns. So new, so make sure you check that new button. You're going to have around 2,555 results. Then there's kind of two different options from there. Obviously you can go to some auctions and you can go to basically the ending the soonest and you can try to snipe something at a lower price and, or you can just go to buy it now and within buy it now, you can just change it to maybe newly listed. See if anyone's putting something out there that's uh, undervalued You can go and snipe it. So I'm actually going to show you the whole process of finding an item, searching back on Amazon and seeing exactly how much you're making. So let's just go ahead and do a buy now option, newly listed. So just scrolling through, you can find an item and you kind of want to see the ones where I was like a picture of the packaging because these guys might be drop shipping or some other option. So I'll just go ahead and click on it. What you can do is all you have to do is just copy kind of the brand and the model number of the printer. Just like that. You're then going to come to Amazon and copy and paste that title scroll through find exactly what you're looking for so there's two different printers on here um there's a different there's a couple of different reasons but i'm just going to click on this one you can see there's the different prices printer and instant ink bundle all that other stuff but we're just going to be selling the printer without an expert installation come and look at the prices they start from 68.99 used okay so a couple of these were refurbished but we're looking for prime because when we're going to be sending this out we're going to be using prime shipping and obviously we want new condition and it looks like the lowest price one is around the $86 range and they have it for 97 on here. So obviously that's not a good deal On to the next one. And you're just going to kind of go through and just keep going through and doing this process as well. Let's keep it scrolling through. Uh, let's see what's going to catch my, check this one out. Office jet four, six, five, zero. They want $72 for it. Let's go check it out. Back to Amazon, copy and paste, find the listing that you wanted to look for. Here we go. Start a little bit lower around 50.99 used. Let's see what the new prices are. So I mean, obviously not every item that you're looking and researching is going to be profitable, but eventually when you find that one item is huge, all you have to do is purchase it. That buyer, that seller on eBay will then ship it to you where you will then ship it back with the tons and tons of other items back to an Amazon warehouse will then be stored for very, very low fees per month. And when it actually sells, Amazon will do the fulfillment for the item. So another way that you can do is 
Say you sold a printer in the past or you often find this similar printer that is undervalued on eBay. You can actually just search for a certain model number of that computer. So let's go just look at this HP NV5535. So obviously we want new condition. Where is it? Here we go. New condition. We don't want to sell used. Obviously you can go to auction buy it now. I'm just going to try some buy it now. We have 92 listings. You can kind of scroll through. Here's one right here. Um, let's go ahead and search this one. So we can get this for $58.99 free shipping. Let's see what it's going for. All right. Here we go. HP NP5535. A little bit higher of a price. All right, let's check out the Prime offers. We're, we're going to be Prime eligible. Wow, $291. So you can potentially purchase this product for $59 to then resell it back on Amazon for $291. Obviously, I saw this. You kind of want to check these out. Uh, open box, return, um, excellent physical condition. Usually, I want stuff that's brand new. It's still factory sealed, so I'd probably stay away from this. But this is a good example of a product that you're actually going to be looking for. We're picking up for $59, even if it was like $80 or $90, it's still going to be worth it to flip it for $291. Obviously, you want to check the sales rank of the item as well on Amazon to make sure it's going to, not going to be a super slow sale, but you're going to be able to make the sale fairly quick. So it looks like it's 236 in electronics, computers, printers, some, some categories. So it's actually copy and paste the ASIN in the Amazon FBA fee calculator and see exactly how much money we can make from this transaction. So you want to go through, find the printer. And remember, this is your fulfillment, so this is going to be merchant fulfilling. We're doing Amazon FBA, so we're going to do Amazon fulfillment. So let's say we undercut them when we go in at $289.99. So this shipped cost to Amazon is what it's going to be from when you ship it to the Amazon warehouse. So we're just going to leave that at zero for right now. And obviously the cost of the product, let's just say we can get it for $58.99. $58.99. This calculator is actually going to go through and calculate all the different fees that go into it from the selling on Amazon fees, which is going to be a referral fee. And then there's going to be like the fulfillment fee, which is going to be basically like the pick and pack fee for when they ship it to the customer and like a monthly storage fee. So even if it took you three or four months to sell this product, you're paying 47 cents per month to store this product. So if it took three months, a dollar fifty is taken out of this 195 that's basically nothing and i mean if you were to sell for 289 dollars you bought it for 58.99 you'd make a commission of 195 dollars in net profit and that's why this business model is so efficient because boom you just found a product purchase it they're going to ship it to you on to the re next product during research and keep finding other products keep adding once you get a shipment of 10 to 20 items you can just build a create big shipment ship it to amazon fba have them store it there until it sells. Once it sells, you can be receive a nice commission. So that's basically the business model of finding undervalued items on eBay to the resale back on Amazon FBA for a higher price and obviously to profit. So if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to comment below with any questions and or video ideas that you would like to see in the future. Also, make sure to check the link in the description and visit Zach and his profile as well. He puts out amazing content on Instagram. He's also got some blogs on his YouTube channel as well. So check him out. He's a great guy. And he can teach you how to make some really, really good money. And he's always looking to help people. Anyways, um, just comment below. Make sure you subscribe. I'm always putting out different tips and tricks on how to make money online. So make sure you leave a like and a subscribe to my channel. And on that note, I'll see you guys next video.